Sorry, guys, just some testing stuff. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? Testing, testing. Okay, sorry, my voice is not on. <laughs> I thought it was. I forgot that I switched my PSN. So now it's, my settings aren't going to be the same. What? Yeah, what sorry about that, that guys. All right, let's continue. <laughs> All right. My voice is here. Again, sorry. There we go. Let me know if you have some issues hearing me or anything like that. volume down halfway, but it's still loud in my ears. <laughs> I might turn that down a little bit. We're alive. Yes. But how? That, that great big flash of lightning. I have played this beginning part. I played about 15, 20 hours. So far, but this is um, on PC only. But my PC was being Look, terrible and not running hand. it well, so I had to I switched to PS4 instead. Huh? Oh, Which it mind? stopped. Ooh. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Sorry guys, I gotta shut the windows. Humble folk of cobblestone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. Shut the blinds, I mean. Sorry. Shut the blinds, because they're blinding me right now. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I normally play stuff at night, so... There we go. Much better. Easier in my eyes. Okay, continue. Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. You're not too far in. Um... I'm I this version here. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this every week. Um, every Saturday. My Dragon Quest streams. But it will not be like story beat, story beat. It'll be just like a mix of stuff. Like, I'm going to be playing a lot of stuff off, off stream as well. So. This, this is the game we're going to be playing every Saturday. Until it's done. And then we're just going to be doing some Yakuza during the week, so... What's our plan? It just goes on and on and on! Ah, uh, this game looks so good. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind! <laughs> they wanted to show us how huge our world really is! <laughs> well, that's it! It's all over and now we're grown-ups! Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all Grown be waiting ups. for us at the bottom. Aww. Ugh. This music. <laughs> We're moving. Back down in the caves. Where's my Dragon Quest, like, experience? I've really only played... Just to let you guys know my background. Um... I've only really played Dragon Quest VIII, and I've played this, and some Dragon Quest Builders, but that's about all the Dragon Quests I've played. Huh. 
<laughs> Let me know if you have an issue with the volume or anything like that. Oops, sorry, I hit you. That lightning was terrifying. We got right up there. I'm so sorry, you poor things. I had to go through such an awful ordeal. It was alright. <laughs> Priest. I'm playing on just normal standard as well. Um, I'm not decided to go the hard route because I kind of want to get this game done at a decent pace. Um, get it done in a decent manner. Still enjoy myself and have fun. We're back safe and sound, Granddad. Yay, Granddad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. I've probably been playing for a few hours as well. Um, when we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I figured an RPG is a good game to play on stream. I think well, it's a... Uh... One that you could Sounds just like kind of grind and, of a miracle and you uh, made it back in one piece. But still enjoy everything about well, it. There's no doubt about Instead it, of RE2 or something like that. Was watching over you. There are probably get a lot more viewers of us playing <laughs> Resident Evil 2, but I don't really care about viewers. Now tell me, my dear. I care more about How just playing the, from the, the game. Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon. And the sunlight playing on the water, and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. <laughs> Come on, you. Home time. I'm hoping, yeah, too. This game is so good and so amazing and magical. I just really hope the Switch, when it comes out for Switch, that it really, like, brings more people in. Because I think this game just is so good uh, and fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not even that big of a Dragon Quest fan. Like, I'm never, like, you know, um, I'm not, like, that huge big of a fan of Dragon Quest. I love the game. I like, I love 8. I played 8 on my 3DS a while ago. Word for setting the top of the cobblestone tour and completing the ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. Look at this jolly town right here. Dragon Quest has, like, some of the best towns. So everybody's all done. Congratulations. Now don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones, you'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired. Tired to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Thank you. Yeah, Dragon Quest is 10 out of 10 towns right here. Look at it. It's a simple town, but still very pretty. <laughs> Yeah, guys, don't be surprised if I just blabber about stuff, because it's kind of what I like to do when I play RPGs, is just, like, say random stuff, so. Just exploring around. Yeah, I haven't played this game in months, because, yeah, I just went to work on my PC and I couldn't stand it anymore. It was, like, driving me insane. It does not run well. Up, 
lady. Chalky? hours on that funny three-sided rock by the falls, just the two of you. You've been so proud to see how big and strong you've grown. Seems like only yesterday we were knee-high to a grasshopper. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, prayers are saving points. Head on in. I just feel so happy <laughs> when I play Dragon Quest. There's nothing, I don't know, something about it. I just, I'm so giddy right now. <laughs> this feels good to be back here and back in it. You read bookshelves. Oh. Distance corking come. Compendium, written on the cover. Lycor takes a look, takes it from the shelf, and has a closer look. Incredible, absolutely incredible. The puns keep flooding into my mind. I've never experienced anything like that. Get a load of this one. We could show visitors around the great stone spire beyond the village, and call it the Cobblestone Tour. And there's plenty more where that came from. They just won't stop. It's like a, it's like divine inspiration. Here's another. My mother said she'd throw her son from a cliff if he didn't eat his vegetables. But it was a bluff. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, just look at this, guys. The jolliness is just radiating. <laughs> Granddad, honestly. <laughs> what this does. Uh, it's music. <laughs> the best, but it's not terrible, but... Okay, so that was her yeah, that was her son, yeah. Characters have such like fun look at them. <laughs> you wanna get somewhere in a hurry? All you need is a horse. Faster than people by a long old shot. <laughs> you know that already. Being a better rider than most, eh? Nice manly pursuit. Riding very grown up. It's just like my food. <laughs> Yummy. Exploring the city a little bit. Town. Favorite thing to do in this game is just head in the houses.
Ah, remember climbing the tour all those years ago? Back then, I was young, single, and free. Great days, great days. Great for his wife. Once is appearing on our sacred tour, all up the pla of all places. They say there are more of the blighters running around outside the village than ever before. I don't like this one bit. Sorry guys, I just like to take my time when it comes to any RPG. I look in everything. <laughs> but yeah, you'll get used to me doing it. Oh There's so much to see. Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you all grown up. <laughs> I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster! What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me! Here I was, hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Aww. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. You weren't going to. Truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! What? <laughs> oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny, and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> anyway... The long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. Aww. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. I really appreciate the uh, English VO as well. I'm happy we got that up in here. <laughs> Instead of, because I know Japan, I think they just had just the, the the wording. They didn't have any voiceover at all. So I appreciate that we got stuff when it came over here. He starts to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. So I do appreciate having this in there. It's nice. Nice addition. I don't mind reading, of course, but <laughs> I do it a lot in Yakuza, so it's still nice to have. Night air always does me a power of good. Let's 
see in their windows. It's like, I ain't sleeping, I'm drinking. <laughs> Shawl, are we? Make sure you don't stray outside the village. There'll be monsters. Yeah, so all the games in 2018, I think, that came out in 2018, I think Dragon Quest XI is one of the most visually beautiful games that came out. This, even with its stylized graphics, it's like, wow, it's, it's a gorgeous game. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? Not really. You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. <laughs> there I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, Hello. the Luminary <laughs> appeared and saved the day. Thanks for joining. Playing some Dragon Quest? When it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> Out of all the other stars it could be. How can you be the luminary too? I I just don't get it. How am I? Um okay. Pretty good. Always very happy whenever I'm playing Dragon Quest, so feeling pretty awesome right now. I know. It's a great game. That's what you're going to hell you just so to jolly and happy. I understand, really I do. When I play this game. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Hope you're well, doing well. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Aww. Exhausted after his long day, Aliacard finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. Just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. <laughs> well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. That's good. Happy and good. this music a little bit.
Problem is, I just don't love the music, so it's like when it's blasting my ears, it's like, oh, there we go, that's better. Again, don't hate the music, just got some little gripes with it here and there, but otherwise, okay. Too. Oh, there's like an auto run, which is nice. It's a cool feature. Make sure we've got the essentials, brace it off. A sturdy little stick fashioned from a branch. I've got some herbs already, so I think we're good there. We should probably grab the shield, maybe. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's better than nothing. It's a turn-based battle system. Adventure time. This guy. <laughs> Talk to me yet. Contently on a great big mouthful of grass. <laughs> Ooh, there's pots. Get all that. Got some herbs. Just get one last look around before I head out. big. It's a pretty big map. I'm not really in, like, the <laughs> far in, too far in yet. I'm really early. But yes, I did uh, play about 20 hours on PC before I moved to PS4. So. Okay, I think I pretty much saw everything, so we're headed out. I am ready. Sorry guys, research break real quick. I'm gonna take me along with me. Gotta get some water. <laughs> day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. So if you hear me my faucet go. Your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> there we go. 
now, sorry. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you float. <laughs> he meant since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out PS4 of the PS4 now. I was on PC with this game. And now suddenly there's all but it ran like trash. Luminaries <laughs> of all ran things. like trash. So I was like, no more. I'm getting it for PS4 so it runs. <laughs> you know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. This dude's mustache. It's pretty on fleek. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Uh, <laughs> oh, you I don't, are I'm not sure about that. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. Did I make anything else? Um, no. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance Just kind of fooled around with the tools a little bit. Just to kind of get used to them. I didn't really make anything else. Because it takes me like three hours to make even like something stupid. <laughs> May this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. Hey, as long as it's faster than the horses You'll in Red Dead, I'm good. Door easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow Yeah, named him Heliogard. <laughs> to Castlevania, yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my head, I guess. Oh, you're such a Because I'm not going to name him Megan after me, so I was like, well... You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Aw, don't worry, Mom. Your yeah, first thing that came to my head. I'm gonna say, she better come see me, huh? Here, take this with you. I. I made it for you. Thank you. It will keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care. And remember, we'll be waiting for you. Let's ride! Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time. But you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair, though. A ring on one of many summoning bells dotted around Endra... Erdra... Erdria... <laughs> will soon bring your faithful friend galloping back to your side. Terrible pronunciation. Zelda E, yeah. Uh. Hmm. 
Well, I'm Speed Gonzalez. Oh, I should have hit my button. Dang it. I love, personally, I love the enemy designs in this game. Any spells? I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool because you can like walk around, but it's still like turn based. Which is pretty cool. Um, you can, yeah, you don't have to sit in one spot, you can like move around. It's pretty neat. But you still take turns. Yeah, it's fun. It's very fun. And for me, it never gets too hard. I know, like, some people... There is difficulty options. Um, which is nice. But I'm just playing on normal right now, so... But it never gets boring for me, personally. It always remains so fun. I don't know, it just, even just the movement kind of helps to keep it interesting. So yeah, it's a fun battle system. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got a chest. I'm coming on up. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice with this horse, you can actually, like, run into enemies, too, which is pretty cool. And it's not random encounters, which I love. In Dragon Quest VIII, they had it for the PS2, but then they switched it to this kind of stuff for, um, the 3DS one. Coming in hot! Dead. <laughs> a lot of RPGs late. Like, not a lot, but I don't consider, like, Yakuza an RPG, but, um, yeah, just, I love RPGs, because they're just chill for me, personally. Like, this I could play for just hours, because it's just, it's a nice, relaxing time. Ooh, rip. And specifically with this game, the great enemy design, I love how they look. They're just all unique and all different, and they have such personality, which I love. And they, like, do some weird things sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like right now, just even getting into battle, it's just having a blast right now. When it's funny, like, normally, like, with Pokemon, I try to avoid battles, because, well, random, ba random battles, but. Eventually, I think it's one of the best-looking games left last year. Guy.
my god, these guys are so cool. <laughs> They're so funny looking. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Even just like death animation is hilarious. Sorry, water break. adventurer when I see one. Mm -hmm. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. That's to save you. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, <laughs> that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. <laughs> Save. So funny, I've been playing for an hour and it really literally feels like I haven't been. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I not want to do that. No. You can move around the camp, which is cool, which is nice. And there's also this little guy that has a kind of a shop thing. A little kind of, nothing like too powerful or anything like that, but... Yeah, that doesn't really, it's not really worth going up 1.4. It's got, um... Yeah, once you get to the later camps, you'll get other stuff too, but that'll show up later.
Feels good. Feels good. We're galloping. Like, nope. <laughs> And you can set, um, as you get more party members, you can set different stuff to people so they do whatever you want them to do instead of having to manually tell them what to do, which is nice. Hope save time. I just find this game it doesn't really deviate from the formula for like where RPGs as RPGs go, but that's the thing I like about it. It's like it harkens back to just classic RPGs, but does it so well. That's what I just love about it. Got room for some magic. Burn. should never makes me laugh we need to go what way oh, okay we need to go upward we're running a little bit low on health so we're probably just gonna make our way up we should probably take got stuff don't we Probably helpful, right? Oh yeah, that's much nicer. This is track. This is um an homage to Dragon Quest VIII. Your outfit's pretty much the same in Dragon Quest VIII. Love it. Love the homage. I could fight some more enemies if we want. So I don't need a lot more. I feel like it's more action packs, I guess. <laughs> A little bit. Nice. We're off. Yo. 
that off. It's a tingly. Actually, like, I could get it from the horse instead of having to, like, get off the horse, go get it. <laughs> A lot and undergoes certain other trials and tribulations. They eventually enter an unnerved state known as being pepped up, which will boost their martial might for a while. But nothing lasts forever. After several turns have passed, they'll lose their glow and go back to being their normal selves. However, any character who are pepped up when battle ends will still be so when the next one begins. We're going to use our fiery spell. Burn! Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> piece of this? No. Look at this guy. <laughs> Ooh. One hit kill. I just I like having the enemies here because it makes the world feel a bit more alive, too. Otherwise, it'd just be like completely empty. So it's always nice to have that sort of thing. I'll try to use all my pepped up energy. I still need to, uh... Probably gonna heal next. <laughs> this is personality, you know, when the enemy's movements. I love their personalities. Just being able to move around in battle just feels makes it feel less stilted too, which is nice. Nice one. Barriers are level up. That's kind of what I wanted before I. Ooh, got a heal spell. Perfect. If a party member levels up, they'll earn some skill points. As the name suggests, these can be used to acquire some spells. Blah blah. Do some open up the character. Do, 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 do. Yep, we got it. Uh, I mean we can, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just like it's like a more of a skill tree in what you like to do, I guess. Um and kinda what area you wanna go in. Which I don't know if I wanted to kinda go more swords based. Um I think I do. I want to go with... 
Not great swords. I think that's one handed weapon. Or is that two? Yeah, it's for like big swords, which I don't really want to go with. Um, yeah, I think we'll just kind of go over in this area, probably. It's not like Skyrim where you can kind of be more free about it. I think it's more just like what you want to go with and kind of stick with and work your way. Because um, they get really expensive towards like the middle here. Uh, but yeah, we're going with that. Because great swords, I don't really want a big weighty weapon for him. So that's what we're going to do. Here we are. Fight these little guys on the way up. <clears throat> And I like how when you level up, it heals you all the way. I think that's nice. That's so funny. When they miss. Great looking place too, I love the this place. It looks great. Just time flies, you know, when I play <laughs> this game. This is so good! I love it. magic. It's magical. I stand up here, I can see folks walking down below. Sometimes they see me and smile, and we have a little bit of a moment. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to Heliodor, greatest city in all Erdra. Erdra or Eirdra? Please make yourself at home. Oh, and if you're wondering about that white speech bubble above my friend's head, well, that just means he's got nothing else to say right now. People like that sometimes, you know. Ah, oh, Dragon Quest Towns. Nothing better. What do you say? You don't find him around here. You better head to the castle. Go straight up the road, climb the steps, keep going, and Bob's your uncle. Just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. They can't need to sleep, you know. Best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. Yeah, this game does have a, a cycle, a day-night cycle. <laughs> That's so funny. This tune's a banger! I don't hear anything. <laughs> That's so funny. This tune's a banger. Check it out, yeah? <laughs> I always found that to be funny. I like these guys too, they're hilarious looking. Probably won't buy anything, I'll just look. You know, it's nothing like huge, you know, so I don't, I just don't find it worth it to be all that completely honest. Right this minute, especially this early in the game. So. Ooh, no. I'm good, thanks. Let's 
just so we'll live in our lives. But there's a church here. There's some saving. Same as Gallop. Hmm. All the way to Heliodor with just one goal in mind to catch a glimpse of the two greatest heroes in all history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrick. The problem is, they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to meet him in person, I suppose I'll have to buy my time in, um, by reading up on him instead. Now, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you could help me find a book about the exploits of those two fabulous knights. Of course I will. Well, thank you much. There was a book about my two favorite knights just sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. I look around the West City, so maybe you should head east. If you see any bookshelves with red books in them, take a closer look. Apparently they're the ones worth reading. Sure. I'm just gonna head right up to the castle, I think. Doggies, same. <laughs> uh, just a jolly, jolly game. Bought the land, had it built. Hmm. That looks like sandwiches, pineapple. Hey, nice. I keep hitting that on accident. We just like Horizon when you sprint in that game, you like click down the stick. So I'm like thinking that's what I have to do, but it's not. <laughs> yep, just a little house you can go in. Those finger sandwiches look very good. <laughs> I kind of want one. It doesn't hurt to explore the houses because you do, like that house, I got a pretty nice, uh, nice chest. So, that's pretty nice. Not every house you can enter, but that's alright. It's a good park over there. It's so nice. walk across that. Mm. like how fast the sprinting is, too. <laughs> Ooh, there's a chest over there. Hidden behind this bush. I go past the bush, that's the question. Haha. -ha. What we found. We're missing. Some barrels. Sometimes you find stuff in barrels and our pots. Three gold coins is better than zero, so. <laughs> Back 
down this box, head up to the roof. There we go. Forgot what jump was. <laughs> it's that button. So I did it again. <laughs> Not jump at all. <laughs> what if we do like a run and jump? That's us. Wow! You're stuck on the roof. Oh yeah, we gotta get the cat. Gotta help the cat. If there's a cat in danger, we must help. to go back that way, I think. Hmm? So, so fast. You can climb up the roof from the back garden, but then there's a rope you can cross. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. Alright. from here, I guess. It's parkour action. Okay, so do I just like jump? Run and jump? See, I can't. Hmm. We'll get it eventually, ladies and gentlemen. Just gotta figure out what, what timing. Maybe we gotta do it a little bit earlier? Ooh, got some stuff here. Nice. from here that way. Yeah, I just gotta do it a bit early, that's all. We got it. Back up from this beginning. Yeah, an X is not jump. It's kind of weird for me. Not used to it. A fan, like a. <laughs> well, I should probably try to do just like a normal jump. Maybe that'll work instead of the run. I'm sorry if this is painful to watch. <laughs> This music, though. <laughs> Don't love this music. I tried to able to listen to other songs, but the game will not let me. It's like, no! Won't let you. There we 
we go. Yeah, it's the run and jump, I think. I was just saying no. <laughs> Screw you, cat. Oh, you could have went from the roof, too. Which is pretty nice. nothing. Alright, I think we could probably head up to the uh, castle, I guess. Ooh. Look, it's too dark. We have to wait a whole overnight. Worth. If I sold it, I bet I'll never have to work again. <laughs> it's a little peely door. It's on the flag as well. There we go. Halt! Not so fast. Not so fast. How do you even see out of those helmets? State your business. I'm a silent protagonist. I don't state my business. Oh, he explains. <laughs> <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind Clear. of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Uh -huh. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Ah, oh, boy. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, if I don't talk too much during Ever the uh, so cutscenes. Because I kind of want everyone to understand Please, what's going on. So. Go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for I'm not the most talkative. I'm getting better, but it's a slow process. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, sorry for the yawning. Just woke up. <laughs> not too long ago. Music. Blech. <laughs> I have such a gripe with the music in this game. Luminary at long last. I love this whole twist, too, in the story, this part. So if you don't expect it in the beginning, for sure. It's like they all care about you, and all of a sudden, this happens. <laughs> They all like, yes, we're worshiping you. <laughs> I 
after this scene, we're probably gonna quit for today, cause I gotta head up to my dad's house that later and help him out. Close enough. So. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, yeah. friend. We're gonna try to play a little bit longer. Probably for 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes or so. Whenever it's a good stopping point, I guess. The Jewel of Dundrasil. Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. Ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? Yeah. And now, finally, <laughs> we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel <laughs> and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. Not really. I take it that you also bear the mark? Uh-oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt you are he. <laughs> Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary. O oh luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so uh... very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. I see. Cobblestone. Oh no. Jasper, you know of this place? <laughs> I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not uh, disappoint me. That's some trash. <laughs> yes, my liege. But do discuss hair. On point. Uh oh. He ain't paying tribute. A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming Love here it. alone. But whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Great twist right there. Hendrik! Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, what? and cast him into the furthest no. corner of the dungeon. Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Oh no. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune Sorry, to confront one laugh. who knows Hair. your true name. Man, seize this wretch. Seize this wretch. You're gonna hurt my village. It looks so mad. <laughs> Think prison. Claim to hail from cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Oh no. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, 
night. I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. Yeah, so the party members in this are great too. I love all of them so far, the ones I met. So, all the joy. Duty, traveling. And we're gonna quit here today, I think, guys. It's a bit short, but I just got a text from my dad and needs some help up at his house. So, I'm gonna have to head out a bit early today. Uh, but, it's a good stopping point. It just saved for me, so. But, yes, we'll be continuing this next Saturday. Um, probably around the same time, like 8 o'clock, 8, 8 o'clock in the morning, 9, 10, whatever I feel like in the morning. But I will be tweeting out that as well. We're going to be doing um, Dragon Quest Saturday streams pretty much every Saturday until uh, the game's done. Um, so, but that'll be fun. And I'm also going to be doing a lot of stuff off stream too. So if you notice me being a lot farther in later uh, next time, next Saturday, then that's why. It's because I'm just going to be doing more grinding. I just figured this is a good game to stream with because it's a game that I could just kind of play at my own pace and not have to worry about anything like that. And it's a pretty chill game. So it's nothing like RE2 where I have to kind of pay attention but try to pay attention to chat. It's like all big or big heavy story game where it's like I want to pay attention to the story but talk to you guys too. So I think this game is a good game to do that with. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be done. I'm probably going to play a little bit on from here, but I, yeah, I got to get in the shower and I got to head up. So um, I'll see you guys next Saturday for more Dragon Quest. We'll be playing much longer too. We'll probably play about maybe three, four hours next Saturday. So, But we'll see you then. Thank you all for joining me and all the follows, all the love you guys give me. I appreciate it every single time. Uh, you guys are the best, and we will uh, catch you later. Ooh, not run. All right, guys. Bye.